So who are the victims of these uh, vibe hacking attempts? They're hitting organizations in healthcare. Uh, we saw emergency services. We saw governments, defense contractors. Um, we even saw a church um, being hit by this actor. Talk us through the church. Yeah, so this is like a great example of how without some sort of automated defense, which a church probably wouldn't have, they were able to access um, the victim's network through some sort of um, attack on their VPN. Once they got in, um, they would uh, essentially look for different ways through the network to identify machines that might have sensitive data, like an administrator or um, owners of the church, um, their financial staff, um, and then start collecting financial information, anything that could be potentially sensitive. And when I say they were doing this, it was actually Claude, as if Claude was on keyboard doing the operations, it wasn't really the actor. The actor would gently nudge Claude in certain ways. Um, the actor would provide at the, at the beginning of the operation kind of a guide to Claude of like how they would suggest for Claude to conduct the operation, but then also put in a lot of caveats on like, hey, like use whatever knowledge you have available, um, try everything until you have success in completing the mission. Um, so with this church, um, Claude was able to identify um, donor uh, information um, and members of the church. Uh, and once Claude would finish um, collecting information from victim networks, um, the actor then asked Claude to analyze that data and develop the, an extortion scheme like Jacob mm -hmm. mentioned. And in this case with the church, um, Claude identified that, hey, we have donor information. We could expose who the donors are and how much they're paying. And that might be enough to convince this church that exposure of that information would be harmful enough to their parishioners that they should probably pay the ransom. 